Okay, so today I wanna to show you guys really quickly how to use a Healthy Passion um, for carb cycling. So if you already have a Healthy Passion account, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up your, your account for carb cycling. If you just signed up recently, then you should have done this when you signed up. So, but if you have a user account and you log in, this is your dashboard. Healthy Passion does so much, uh, but it can be a little bit overwhelming if you're just getting started. So I really like to focus on just the basics to get you started. And then the more you learn, the more you can play around with it. But when you log in, you're going to, you're going to want to click on your user settings and then go down to macro settings. And this is where we're going to set our macros for carb cycling. So you'll click this calorie calculator button here. And you just want to put in some information about yourself. So female 32, 125, 65. Um, and then as far as activity level, if you're working out consistently like five days a week, like in trim or whatever, um, you're going to do moderately active. If you are not working out, but you're, you know, moving around all day, lightly active. If you're literally bedridden, little or no exercise, if you're in your second round of trim or you're working out very consistently and lifting heavy, um, very active is what you'll select. And then your weight loss goal. And then yes, for carb cycling, then you'll click submit. And if you want to go ahead and factor in your low calorie days, I just do the math and kind of like lower it in my um, planner. But if you want to actually set your macros so that it's like done for you, no thinking, you'll just go here, set each day of the week, and then you can put your low calorie or your rest days in. Um, I do about 1400 on those days. So we'll do that. And then Sunday, same thing, 1400. And that just makes it easy. Again, so you have that like baseline of what you're looking at um, versus having to do math in your head like my fitness pal. Then you're going to go to your planner and you're going to start planning. So I already have my day in here, um, but we'll go ahead and just basically click the autofill. What happens with autofill is it actually wipes everything and starts over. So um, if you guys have something in there that you want to keep, you don't want to click autofill. You actually want to go in and individually fill, but I'll go ahead and just click this and show you sort of how it works. And keep in mind, this is software, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's a good place to start. So what I like to do is click autofill and then I'll kind of tweak and make some changes based on what it recommends. Um, so this looks good. This looks good. This all looks good. Um, say for example, I really don't want that chicken for dinner. I can just delete it here though and look for something else. And you'll see at the bottom, it'll say like total calories, total carbs, total protein, total fat for the day. And this is on a low carb day. Now it says 65 carbs and we try to stay under 50 net, but keep in mind, once you add the fiber in, it pulls your, your total carbs down. So that's why it's a little bit higher here because we really want you to hit that fiber goal. So say I need another recommendation for dinner because I'm just not feeling that chicken. I click the little fork and knife. That'll actually give recommended recommendations just for this meal. And then I can scroll through and see what sounds good. So I think I want lemon artichoke chicken. Um, actually, I want to see what it looks like just to make sure. So you click on the title. And if I decide, yep, that's it, I click that little check mark and it adds it in. Then again, I'm still a little low on calories. So I'm going to go ahead and add my coffee in for breakfast here. And if you don't eat breakfast, um, you can just delete this and add more to lunch, dinner, and snacks. I actually like to just break my fast with breakfast food, even if it's like at 11 o'clock in the morning. So I always eat breakfast. So I'll add in the coffee. And then I think I'm going to have a couple hard boiled eggs too, just to help me hit calories. Let's look at net carbs for the day. Okay. So you can see here really easy. My fitness pal, you have to do math. This actually tells you your net carbs, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add hard boiled egg in there. Um, and then you can see here, I need 200 calories. So we're going to go for this one, three, to try to get as close as possible to our goal for the day. And there we have it. 26 net carbs. I'm right around my calories. I'm over protein. I'm doing good on fat. Like everything looks amazing here. Now, say for example, I want to see my day and print it out. I can click the summary button. What I like to do is actually just screenshot it and then put it in a Google doc and then print like the whole week at once. Cause I'm a pen and paper girl, but you can easily just print this page or, you know, screenshot it and download it, whatever works for you. Um, as well as like, if you're sharing your nutrition, you'll just screenshot this and we can see, you know, again, the net carbs, the calories, um, also on a regular macro day, we can see the percentages. So I'll show you an example of like my regular macro day I planned. You can see here, 47 carbs, 24 protein, 29 fat, pretty perfect. So there you have it. That's a healthy passion. Um, if you want to obviously cook the recipe, um, if you want to shop the recipe, you click the shopping link. Uh, it doesn't, you can't shop snacks yet. So you have to actually manually add those, but you can do all the recipes. And then when you're ready to cook, you'll just click on the title. Um, you'll see the information, a pretty little picture. Um, again, calories, fat, protein, all that. Servings, cooking time, ingredients that you need, pantry items, tools, and directions. So I'm telling you guys, 
It makes it super, super simple. If you're not using Healthy Passion, hopefully this will motivate you to, to jump in and start doing it. Again, the software has a thousand and five features, but this is probably where I'd recommend starting. Um, I love it so much. It's like my fitness pal, but way less glitchy, way more accurate information. Um, the recipes are all in there. There's no ads. Like it's really one of those things that you just save time and know exactly what to eat to hit your goals. So hope this video is helpful. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. And um, yeah.